Hello friends, welcome back to the healthcare today. Today we are going to discuss about cough with expectation and these days you, are, you, you can see most of your family and friends suffering with cough, expectation, slight fever, sore throat. So we are going to discuss what is cough, what is sputum, how is it produced and what are the abnormalities when you should treat it. So if I speak about cough, cough is a protective reflex. So it is a reflex where you tend to throw out the material which is struck in your airways by using a muscular coordination. So once you have cough, that doesn't mean that you are sick. Many times you can see while eating, you, you find one of the food particles entering into the windpipe, immediately the cough is generated. That's why cough is a protective reflex. And coming to expectation, expectation is also a protective phenomenon where body produces expectation to stick out all the foreign body materials which, which is inside the airway so that it can easily throw it out. Now, is, as I told you, expectations of different types. Most commonly you see expectation which is whitish, which is a reactionary phenomenon whenever a bacteria or virus enters your body, the body produces some inflammatory response leading to edema of that particular part, thereby, motor, mo, uh, there, thereby leading to cellular infiltrate where you can see different types of cells coming into the picture. If the infection is very early, you can see neutrophils. If the infection is very old, you can see lymphocytes. If there is a, a, in, in, a so in insult due to the allergy, then you can see eosinophils. So all these cellular materials along with the inflammatory material with the amount of water content leads to sputum production. All sputum productions are not abnormal. Many times as I told you, it is a reactionary phenomenon. But when should we treat it? When your sputum color changes to black, yellow and green or sometimes it is associated with blood then you should definitely visit a pulmonologist or a physician who can assess you whether there is anything wrong with your lungs they will take an x-ray to see for any pneumonia and they will place you on antibiotics if that is not the scenario you are having only whitish expectation then we will try to evaluate why, you're, why you are having whitish expectation whether it is an allergic phenomenon whether it is an infective phenomenon so if it is a viral infection where most of the patients do respond within 5 to 7 days without any medication, most virus resolves spontaneously. So if it is a viral infection, you doesn't require any antibiotic. But if, it, if the cough production is due to uh, allergy, then you will, will be placed on anti-allergic medicines which will dry up the secretions and you will feel better. And there is one more characteristic of allergic cough where you can find the cough is very sticky. It is very difficult to expectorate. That is because of because of the sediments which of eosinophils, which is called Crushman spirals, where you can see linear thread-like materials hanging in the sputum. So when that is there, it is an in, uh, indirect hint that the patient is as allergic. He may or may not have asthma. So we look in terms of allergy. We try to evaluate your allergic symptoms. You try to ask your family history whether say, any similar history is found in your family or immediate family. And we play, treat you accordingly with anti-allergics. Now, once we know the etiology, what is, a, what is causing this expectation, then we treat accordingly, then the expectation is taken care of. As I told you, which is happening very commonly these days, most cough with expectations do resolve within 5 to 7 days. If your cough and expectation is not resolved within 5 to 7 days, consult a doctor and they will, uh, if required, they will prescribe an antibiotic. But in general, Unless there is a bacterial infection, antibiotics are not required. We care about you.